I'm inside Adobe Acrobat, and I want to talk a little bit about list values and drop-down boxes, or better known as combo boxes. You can see here, I've got a list of all the states. Now, if you were going to try to create this using Adobe Acrobat, you would have to put a field in for this drop-down box, and then you'd have to type in each one of these values. That's not very convenient. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Advanced Acroform Toolset, which is this toolbar up here at the top. You can get this from formrouter.com. It's totally free. You just download it and install it into your Acrobat. It installs into Acrobat Pro or any version of Adobe Acrobat 9. And I'll start by deleting this field out of here so that we have a clean slate. Now let's imagine we wanted to put in a brand new field. I would go up here to the create a new field button and the advanced acro form toolbar. And I'll type in state, which becomes the name of my field. Then for field type, as you can see, we can create all different types of fields in here. But what I want is a combo box. Now here's the part that makes it easy. Right here, I can select from a pre-made list. I've got countries, credit card types, major currencies, months, states, true, false, etc. I'll select states and I'll click insert. And you can see over here, it inserts a list. Then all I need to do is click OK and it'll create my field. Now one thing I want to mention is, if you're normally building drop-down boxes inside of Acrobat, you really can't make them required because they only have data in them. Well, we've got a little bit of magic sauce in here. So if I click on required, I can actually make it so someone has to make a selection from that field. Otherwise, it won't allow them to submit the form. So now that I've checked that, I'll just click OK. And voila, there is my field on the form. And you can see it's outlined in red because it's required which is something you can't do with regular Acrobat. And here is my list of fields. And now when I select the field, you can see it now has a value. So here's the moral of the story. Make your life easier by getting all the popular collections and pre-populated lists that you might want to put into a drop-down box by getting yourself the advanced Acroform tool set. Get it for free at formrouter.com and build better forms.